Hello there, this is Dango1867, hope you're all feeling alright today because I am Tickety Boo. Today we've got another FIFA 20 squad builder, this time it's a little bit different. It's from the Rival series, it is the Super Classico of two sides that on paper are not even in this FIFA. We have got the great and mighty Boca Juniors versus the fantastic River Plate. So this squad is made up of those players. The squads themselves in regards of the team is split across uh, as best I can. And I've tried to make it as even as we possibly can. And I really, really did enjoy using this side. A lot of these players, people won't be going out there and trying. And to be honest, some of them you definitely should. So let's get straight on into it then, guys. So the first player is Franco Amani, the River Plate keeper, the Argentinian very solid keeper, six foot two was pretty good with his reflexes. As you can see, a solid 86 did make some good saves for me and was good at corners too. Some solid punches. Only downside for this keeper was that 40 speed, and it did hold him back. If players are coming through, there's pointless having him rush out because he's definitely not going to get there against the quicker forwards. But a solid player overall. The next player is Gonzalo Montiel, the River Plate right back, five foot nine, and look at those stats: high medium work rates, which means that going forward with that 84 pace, he is an absolute threat. And with 80 physical, means he can get up and down for days. Also, a very good freestyle skill moves, freestyle weak foot, make him a very versatile player. And at only 75 rated, I really did enjoy using this player. Next up is. Pinola, the veteran, 5 foot 11, again, better going forward than he is defensive, but seems to be always in the right position, 68 pace, 68 dribbling, 68 passing for a 78 rated keeper is pretty solid, and to be honest, he's made some very good tackles and some solid, solid blocks as well, and I really did actually feel he, he was a little bit better than his rating set, so enjoyed using him a lot. The next centre half is Carlos Izquideros, the six foot one Boca Juniors centre half, and with the 81 physical, that high defensive work rate meant he stayed back quite well. Won his headers, was very much let down with that pace though, with only 50 pace, 54 passing, probably better defenders in the league, but he did his job well and won his headers, but I would have preferred a little bit more of a runner. The left back in this team is Colombia's Fabra, the Boca Juniors player, 89 pace, and look at that. Other than shooting, everything is in the 70s. He's 5 foot 9, high medium work rates for attacking, and again, another fullback with freestyle weak foot, freestyle skills. These fullbacks, both of them, very, very good, very cheap, quick, good dribblers, good on the overlap, and I can't say much more than that. If you want attacking fullbacks, these guys are very, very playable. Next up, we have the very recognisable Daniel De Rossi, the Italian superstar, now at Boca Juniors. Medium high work rates, a massive four star weak foot. And look at those stats 85 defensive, 77 physical, and a nice little 73 pass. Still got it, this guy. Lacks a bit of pace, but his positional play is good. And passing the fact he can go left or right without having to switch or change position means he's very, very versatile and he's very solid in the tackle too. Very good at 82 rated. Alongside the Italian is Marconi, Ivan Marconi, another Boca player, another 80 rated player, six foot, medium high work rate. Look at the skill moves though at four star. So this is a CDM with four star skill moves. You don't see that very often. He has a very solid 83 physical, 79 dribbling and 73 passing, but sadly let down by that 55 pace. If he had a bit more pace, he probably would be one of the better defensive midfielders I've used all FIFA so far. But he's very solid, holds his own against most midfielders, especially in the tackle and when he's running with the ball. So really did enjoy using him for a 650 in regards to coins. Then on to the attacking midfielder Quintero, another Colombian, this time from River Plate. And everything about him is very, very good. High, low work rates. He's got four-star skill, 73 pace, but a very big and impressive 81 passing and 83 in regards to dribbling. Did chip him with a goal and an assist, which was 
very good. And to be honest, other than being not the strongest player, he is a very versatile little midfielder. Well worth a use if you are linking some other well-known Colombian. So definitely one to watch in the future for informs. Another player you've probably heard of is Salvio, the Boca Juniors winger. This time playing him at Cam, and I've got to say he was very, very impressive. 80 rated this year, but with 86 pace, 84 dribbling, 4-star weak foot, 4-star skills with high medium work rates. Playing this guy through the middle is absolutely amazing because you can cut inside and get shots away. You can go wide and get crosses into the box. Makes him very unpredictable. And to be honest, he's one of the better players in this side. If you are using an Argentine hybrid, this is a player you definitely need to use, even if it's just bringing him off the bench to put him in behind a forward. Very impressive, this guy. Up top, we have Mauro Zaretti, another player we all know from his spells in Europe. He's got the 4-star skill moves, 3-star weak foot, 77 pace and a nice 80 shooting, 84 dribbling and he's very much the fox in the box. Gets on the end of things when keepers make saves, all defenders make blocks with 4 goals and 5 assists. He was very, very impressive and his finishing, to be honest, for only 80 shooting was very, very high. It's all about that positional play and he's always on the edge of things, waiting for things to drop. And if it does drop, this guy will finish. And at only 750 coins, he is an absolute bargain. Next up is Lucas Prato. A big six foot two target man. And I've got to say, I was very, very surprised. On paper, his stats are not great. He's only got 79 shooting, but a big 86 physical, but only 71 pace. High medium work rates and the four star skill moves. But what I found is that shooting stat is rubbish. He He's finishing things from all over, whether it's finessing into corners, whether it's winning headers, whether it's taking long shots. He's absolutely unplayable. If this guy was quicker or gets an inform, we may have one of the best strikers on the game. And I'm not even kidding. He is ridiculous. When he shoots, it is on target. And for someone who's just 80 rated, with the full season to go, I am looking forward to some influence from this guy. A very, very special player so far. So then we have an honourable mention for the players from the bench. And it is this man, Tevez. Everyone knows who Tevez is. And to be honest, as you can see, coming off the bench, he did manage two goals for me. And I've got to say, I'm happy with that for a little super sub. His pace is not great. His finishing is very, very good still. He's still got a decent weak foot and skill moves. And he seemed to be in the right place at the right time. So when you had a tiring forward, whether it be in the midfield or up top, I stuck this guy on and he was very, very effective. So Tebas has definitely still got it despite only being a 78 rated card. So, to be honest, I really, really enjoyed using this side. There's some standout players like the Colombian pair. The front two were very good, and Salvio was a big, big standout, especially playing it in that camp position. Some of these guys you definitely use again. Some of them, not so much fun. But, overall, I had a lot of fun and won more games than I actually lost. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this squad builder. If you've got any suggestions on which sort of squad you want me to put out soon, drop a like, comment and subscribe and let me know what you think. I've been Dango. Hope you've enjoyed this video. I'll catch you all later, guys.